What up, everybody? Time for another unboxing. I know I'm still super behind in all my videos. It's February now. Still not done with all my boxes for January because I got so behind, but trying to push them out. So let's get right into it. Let's keep it short and simple. Loot Crate. So this month's box, what was the theme? Rewind. I thought it was that. So, um, if you remember, if you didn't watch my video from last month's Loot Crate, um, I wasn't super impressed with it. I was actually pretty disappointed, which is weird because Loot Crate almost never disappoints. So last month's, I kind of had a bad taste in my mouth about the whole thing, but this one, let's find out. So let's start things off real quick and simple. Got a t-shirt, got a Voltron design. I know it's kind of hard to see in this light. Yeah, it's cool. It looks like a little blueprint. It's like an outline of Voltron. I thought this is cool. It looks like, it seems like it's going to fit pretty well. I haven't tried it on, but it looks really cool. I like it. And that's definitely from, what, the 80s? 90s? Anyway, rewind. Next, we have a necktie. Right out of there. So I, I doubt you can see the design in there because the, this camera does not focus. But it looks kind of like uh, like Galaga or uh, Space Invaders. Kind of has that little little emblem on there. It's a little black tie with the white design on it. Uh, I thought this was really cool. It's a skinny tie, which I like because I don't like the big fat neckties. And I think this is cool because I actually wear neckties a lot. I That's kind of my style. I'm sure you haven't seen me in any of these videos, but I might now because I have that tie. Um, I'm always wearing like button-up shirts with neckties. I think it's a cool style. I think more people should wear stuff like that. I also think this is really cool because, like I've said, I, I kind of like to see new and interesting things. Like I like that one nerd block where they had the scarf in there because that's cool. It's probably the only block to do something like that. And as far as I know, it, this is the only box to do like a necktie. It's nerdy themed. It's the whole rewind theme because it's from like the 70s. And it's, it's actually somewhat stylish. I think this is very cool. It's interesting. It's new. It's out of the box. So for me personally, I thought it was great. I know a lot of people don't wear ties that much, but I hope maybe you will more now. So I thought that was really cool, really creative, interesting put some thought into it. I was kind of happy not to see a Funko Pop in this box because I'm, again, I'm getting tired of the t-shirt Funko Pop in just every box everywhere that's just getting old. So I like to see something different. Cool. I really like that. Next, we have some glasses. Now you've seen me in my videos wear ones just like these. And I think we got, have them right here, we got these in one up box, the first one up box I got. They're cool. Um, They're definitely like trendy right now a lot of a lot of people have them and it is exclusive to loot crate not that that matters like it would make no difference at all they're pretty easy to come by but they're still cool i'll wear them out i wear sunglasses all the time cool i like it sunglasses get in there next we have a the analog these are called tendo and i'll pop this out real quick so this guy, I don't have the legs in yet, but it comes with arms and legs. And it's these are actually really cool. This says Doctor Who on it. Basically, they look like Nintendo cartridges, but they always have a joke, a play on some kind of game. I don't know if you can tell. I have some right here. I don't know if you can see the one up here, this owl one. It's really cool. But yeah, I have some of those because I actually met these guys. The people that make these, this company, I met them. I was at a WonderCon, and they were there with a booth. And I actually, that's how I bought these ones. They're really cool. And this is exclusive. It says exclusive to Loot Crate, which I love. This is something that I personally really like because obviously I have a lot of figures, obviously. And ones that I like already like that series. It's really cool to see exclusive ones because you can't get it anywhere else. And it's a figure I already like. Um, one month before I started, they had an exclusive Funko Mystery Mini from the science fiction series. And I thought that was awesome. I went and bought that. That's the whole reason I started getting Loot Crate, because of that one figure. So I'm extremely happy to see something like this. It's cool that they're taking the effort, making the effort and taking the time to do partnerships with these companies to do an exclusive figure. Because it's not hard to do and I really appreciate that. And I kind of want to find out the, I looked in the little 
little booklet, the other designs, I kind of want to see if I can get more of them. I, I really like them. They're super cool. So this definitely has my approval. I like it. Getting thirsty. Yeah. So next, this one, just kind of a filler. It's a little notebook, and it's it's the pages are divided up to look like a comic book page. So it's supposed to encourage you to to make your own comic. And they actually have a competition right now of who can do the best one and then send it in and win a prize. So that's 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 pretty cool and interesting. Um, if you're into that, if you're into drawing and stuff, that's creative. So all right, that's just again that's one of those just filler ones. It's not gonna make or break anything. It's just there. That. We have our little pin, cassette tape with the theme on it, our little booklet. And the last item, an exclusive Star Wars comic book from Marvel. The comic book's not exclusive, uh, just the cover, I assume. I don't think the whole book would be, but yeah, just I'm pretty sure it's just the cover. Which, this is cool. Um, I have mixed feelings about a lot of those. Like last month we got an exclusive Batman one, which I wasn't super thrilled about. It's cool to have an exclusive cover, but doesn't mean a whole lot and um, it was just kind of a random book in the series so it didn't mean that much this I appreciate more because this is a brand new series and this is a number one this is the first one and I appreciate that much more because it's a number one and I was reading about it and this is kind of a big deal they haven't done a Star Wars comic book in a long time and I don't think Marvel ever has but now that Disney owns Star Wars and Marvel these two have come together, and it seems like a pretty cool series. So it's cool that you got a number one. That makes it kind of special, and I appreciate that, versus just like a random one in the series because it's like worthless and means nothing. But this is actually kind of a part of history because it's the starting off this whole new series. So again, at the end of the day, it's still just a comic book, not that big a deal, and exclusive cover really doesn't mean that much. But it's cool to have a number one just of anything. So I, I think that's pretty cool. So I'd be fine if they did more number ones. If it's just going to be a random book in the series, I'm not that thrilled about it. So, overall, I mean, I was pretty pleased with this one. I was pretty pleased with the overall crate. I think I liked every item in there. So, let's get into a value of this box. <sighs> Spilled my beer just now. Knocked it over. That sucks. It's a hard life I live. It's a rough life. This is what I deal with. I got spilled beer on my carpet. Anyway, let it, let's get into the value of this box. T-shirt, no need to argue, 15 bucks. That's what I value them all at. It varies, but let's make it simple on ourselves. 15. The tie. So I would value this at least $10, if not 10 or 15. Um, neckties can actually get pretty expensive, especially these slim ones. I know because I, I bought them personally, so they vary around a lot. Like you can get really cheap ones online on eBay and stuff for just a few dollars. And a lot of people are selling this on eBay for a few dollars. But I think it's worth at least 10 if not like 15 just to, for the value of it. Like you can argue that till the end of the day, but that's what I'm putting at. 10 on the low end, 15 on the high. Next, the Tendo figures. So I know exactly how much this costs because I met the guys and bought it from them personally. This would cost $10. Um, retail, I think they mark them up to like $10.95 and some as high as $12.95. But I'm not going to value it that much. Let's just make it easy on ourselves. Let's say $10. But still a really cool figure. I really liked it. The glasses. Although these are cool glasses, these are actually remarkably cheap and easy to find, unfortunately. That doesn't mean they're bad. I still like them. But you can find these all day online for like two bucks, three bucks, like all over the place. Some people will charge like as high as like eight dollars for them, but you can find them very cheap. Again, they're Loot Crate exclusive, but that means practically nothing because these are so easy to come by. So just to find a, a middle ground there, just to put some value into it, I'm just going to say five bucks. You can find them cheaper, but this one has two colors on it, this two-tone thing, which has a little bit more value because it's not just a solid color. So we'll say five. There's that. All right, next. So we have our little booklet. This this would be super cheap. Like I said, this is just a filler one. It's not going to make or break anything. 
Um, I can I see things like this at like Target and stuff for like a dollar, maybe two. Like notebooks, it's not hard to make. It's not expensive. It's still blank. It just has the design on the pages. So even on the high end, say two bucks, whatever. And then the comic book. This was really easy to put a value on it because it says it right here. It says the regular price on it, four ninety nine, five bucks, which I think is expensive for a comic book. Am I wrong? Like. I don't. I know they do go pretty high, but that's a more expensive one. Unless comic books just cost that now, and I just it's just been that long since I've gone to a comic book store and paid normal price. But usually they're like three fifty or something like that, or three dollars. But anyway, it says five bucks, so that's what the value is. Can't really argue it because it has a price on it. Um, I don't think it adds any value that it's exclusive. I'm still gonna put it at the price that it is. But even that, even on the low end, even like putting low values on this stuff, I got to about $46 in value, which was more than worth it. This box only cost 20 and it had plenty of value in it. It makes me a little nervous sometimes, the cheaper boxes, because this one's 20 and that's one of the cheaper boxes. Most of them cost 30 and but this one doesn't doesn't show cheaper value, it doesn't have lower quality stuff, it doesn't have less items, it has all good stuff. So 46 bucks on the low end, on the high end, almost 60. That's almost triple what you're paying. So I'm extremely pleased with this. Last month, Loot Crate was really low in the overall like valuation of the month. This one's going to be really high. This is one of the better ones I've seen this month. And there aren't many boxes that I haven't gotten. So. That's really great, and I especially appreciate this Tendo figure, this exclusive one. That was so cool. I really liked everything in here. Um, I can't say that I'm at all disappointed. So, really great box. I love the value. Can't complain. Um, I don't know if this will be the number one spot, but pretty close to it. And that's about it. Um, I got a few more boxes this month, some new ones this month. I signed up for the Marvel Funko Monthly Box, which I'm super excited about to see in April. I signed up for Quarterly Box, which is going to come in March, so exciting stuff to come up. I signed up for a bunch of new boxes, so next month's going to be exciting. This month's going to be exciting. I got more videos coming up, monthly valuation, monthly overall review coming up too. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed the video. Love you all. Peace.